for fast, cheap, and reliable Madden 21 Ultimate Team coins, make sure you guys go check out my sponsor, U4GM Coins. Use code VENOM at checkout for 5% off your order. Yo, what's good guys, Venom Fire here back with another video, and today I'm going to bring you guys my Gun Bunch Offset Offense. Now, Gun Bunch Offset is one of the top three offensive formations this year for passing the ball. It's a lot of people and a lot of pro players' favorite formation to passing the ball. The reason for that is just a lot of good stock routes, a lot of plays that uh, haven't been very good in the past but are very solid this year. Now, we're going to be in the Carolina Panthers' offensive playbook today. I believe Bunch Offset is in some other playbooks like Washington, I think. Um, but yeah, we're in Carolina. It's by far the best playbook for this Bunch Offset formation. And yeah, let's just go ahead and just hop straight into our audibles. Now, one thing I do recommend is that you get some good route runners on your field. Uh, some of these routes are going to be better with better route running, deep route running, certain things like that. So again, you want some good receivers if you're running the Bunch Offset. Um, as far as our audibles go, I've gone ahead and preset them. We have double post, verts, halfback under, mesh post, and play action dig fork. Now, there's a couple of other good plays that I probably won't talk about in this video. Flood being one, uh, as well as certain things like Z spot and go. There's definitely some good plays that I'm not going to talk about. Um, but yeah, with that being said, let's just go ahead, hop on the field. In this video, I'm going to be trying to mix it in on defense, a little bit of zone coverage and man coverage. Uh, I'm going to be trying to audible and switch between those for every play I go over. Uh, so if I do go through a little bit faster, it's just because I'm trying to give you guys multiple looks on defenses as well as multiple looks on offense with the different setups I'll be talking about. So to start off, I'll just be going over a cover one defense, and again, I will show the same plays against cover three or cover two as well. So hopping out in our first play, the, the best play in the formation by far is going to be double post. It's by far the most popular play for the people running this offense, and the reason why is it's just so diverse in the routes you have. So just taking a look at it, Sock, uh, you notice we got a little halfback route i'm not sure even sure what he would call that but it's the same route that's in verticals this play is actually very similar to verticals if you take a look at just between the audibles uh the real differences are just the post and again the tight end as well as that outside receiver but you notice the two routes that are the same are that wide receiver crosser as well as the running back underneath route so again uh, what we're going to do to make this the best play possible and what my favorite setup is is just going to be putting rb on a little drag so it's going to be drag you got two drags which are generally very good man beaters and then you got this post route and this post route although from the player it actually looks very slow breaking it's a very quick breaking route and you'll see that in a minute uh now with this tight end route it's not going to be good any good against man coverage but against zone coverage which you will see in a little bit it's definitely a solid route basically like a flat route sort of ignore the wheel uh, and then we obviously got a c route now the c routes aren't as good just from the outside against man coverage if you want them to be a little bit better against man, something you can do is motion them in, but again, that can be a tell. So we'll just show it stock, and then we'll get into some extra stuff like that later. So we'll snap the ball. I'm going to throw it to B right here. Look at how fast breaking that is. He is absolutely torching one of the fastest cornerbacks in Madden 21 in AJ Terrell right there. Uh, and again, want someone fast so that he's able to break, make that route a little bit better, uh, specifically against man coverage. Next route. Got a little drag. Drag's very good against man coverage. You're forcing someone to pretty much put a flat on the left every single time. And if you know anything about bunch defense, it's that uh, usually the spot they will or your opponent will go weak on is going to be that solo side flat. Uh, what I mean by that is generally what they would do is just play over the top on the left and then maybe they would double flat on the right, uh, assuming that you have a little flat high low on the right. But now you actually have two high low reads. You have this running back and the post as well as the drag and the c route now again man coverage the c route's not as good but against zone it is very solid now uh the next man beating route we have is mccaffrey and with your opponent's user he's really gonna have to pick uh right here between mccaffrey or samuel obviously assuming that he has put three zones in the middle of the field to stop that post route uh, and McCaffrey is going to get very open on this route. Now, I know McCaffrey has a couple of abilities that do make him a little bit better, but as long as you have a running back with some speed, uh, you don't need any abilities to make this route useful. Again, backfield master is definitely a nice thing to have, but it's not necessary. Obviously, McCaffrey, uh, you see again, against man coverage, he's going to burn it. And I know uh, it might be easy just to think that's McCaffrey, but really any running back in the game could get open on this against man coverage. And usually... They will be manned up with either a running or a linebacker or a safety. But you see uh, definitely some solid separation against man. 
And again, one more time, I'll give you a look at this little post route with DJ Moore. Again, this is a very quick setup. You see, the only thing I'm doing is I'm putting RB on a drag and I can snap the ball. It's one of those things that's a very quick snap play. Uh, and this year, it's very you can snap the ball very quickly. So it's one of those things I like to do. Now, something else you can do, you saw I did right there, is I went ahead, motion DJ out to the right side. That's not necessary, but if you uh, already are taking some time on the play art, maybe you've audibled a couple times deciding which play you want to run. That's something that I like to throw in, sort of bait uh, your opponent. Maybe when he sees that motion, he thinks you're running verticals or whatever. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead, hop into a different uh, zone defense, and I'll show you guys this play a little bit more. All right, guys, I switched to just a pretty much stock cover three here. Now, again, I know I'm not making the most adjustments on defense, but it's more so showing you guys the setup, showing the player. I'm not trying to make this super complicated for you guys. Uh, and again, just for a first-time offense, I don't necessarily want to hop into some of the most diabolical route combinations that I have. But here we are against cover three. Cover three, we're going to want to attack the flats as well as the post routes. This, again, it's going to be very similar to the man coverage. We just got a couple of extra routes. The first one being this flat route with the tight end. So you see, every time you throw this flat route, it's important that you throw it before he brings his cut up field. And the good thing about his little wheel route is that it's all the way on the complete outside of the field. So you have a lot of time to throw that pass before he's going to cut up field. Uh, the reason that you want to leave him on that rather than putting him on a flat is this flat, you see, he's going to sort of stop at the numbers. And that's really not what you want. You want a, your flat route from the tight end to go as far as you can. Uh, so that the zones will eventually drift up field and then you can throw that ball again throwing the tight end route I wait a little and then you see I'm throwing it almost halfway between the numbers and the actual sideline right there And it ends up being like a 10 yard pass with uh, someone who's not the best tight end I will say an Ian Thomas uh, Now the other side we got the little C route now C routes getting pressed uh, That's something that you want to be careful of uh, and that's again why I mentioned you might want to bring him inside. This is just a stock cover three press. And uh, unfortunate that I can't show you guys, but more times than not, when people are pressing, they're shading over the top. So Robbie Anderson really won't ever get pressed like that unless they're abusing bench press or something like that. Um, taking a look at the other C route, you see we got the drag and then we got the C route on the outside. We did get a terrible throw right there. I think we got hit well, well I threw. Um, but again, if he's playing underneath, that's a way you can take it over again. Uh, probably not the best against cover three, but you saw the drag route was wide open. Uh, now again, not only is that post route really good against man, it's really good against zone in addition, really good against cover two, cover three, uh, with the middle of the field being the main focal point. Uh, again, DJ Moore, take a look. Those zones are going to pull all the way down to defend those drags and that underneath route with McCaffrey, uh, and that's going to completely open up. It's very difficult to defend. You can just run this stock. Uh, you're going to get your opponent in a stock defense more times than not because he's not going to have any time to make his adjustments, and you could literally just run the stock and absolutely torch anybody you play. With that being said, though, let's go ahead and move into our next play. I'll just go over the mesh post really quickly against zone, and then we'll move into man. Again, I don't want to switch audible too much, or this video will be a little bit long. I already know it's running long, but that keep in mind, that was the best play of the entire offense. So I wanted to spend a lot of time on that, getting that punched into you guys. Uh, let's hop into mesh post. mesh post. You might think it's a little bit worse just because of the running back's offset, but it is still very good. And it's actually sort of a similar concept to that uh, double post play, but the only difference is that we got a little bit of a different post, um, but again, we also got some decent routes on the other ends. What you wanna do is just go with the standard mesh post setup, uh, with which will be X on an out route, RB on a slant, and then just motion him side to side across the formation, go ahead, snap the ball right there. Again, post route, very good. We got two really good post routes. Uh, and it's going to be difficult for your opponent to tell which play you're running. Obviously, that motion over is a tell. So if you wanted to really snap the ball as quickly as you could, this is my favorite setup, X on and out, or beyond a hitch. But again, that's only if you don't motion. Uh, obviously, that hitch gets completely opened up. You're forcing him to either man up or uh, shade underneath with his yellow zones, whatever the case may be. Um, but again, this setup, you can't go wrong. You got two high-low reads, almost three high-low reads right here. Uh, and again, I could easily throw that running back route. The low ball slant is going to be completely open every time, pending it's usered by your opponent. And again, very difficult for your opponent to user this many sides of the field. And again, you're really attacking that weak side flat, which will be the left side. You're forcing your opponent to throw maybe a hard flat there. Uh, and then you see McCaffrey getting wide open. So again, cover three, very solid. Obviously, I could also throw that flat on the right side. Uh, let's hop into it against man coverage, which it isn't the best at, but I'll give you guys a look. 
Alright guys, here we are in man coverage now, and again, man coverage, it's obviously going to do a very good job of taking away these three routes with Robbie Anderson, McCaffrey, and Ian Thomas here with our tight end, so really, uh, it's going to come down to two routes, the post and the slant route. Now again, you should be able to tell if your opponent's playing man coverage, obviously he'd be running a lot in the game, and that cornerback will shallow, uh, but the motion slant is going to be very good against that man, co man coverage, as well as the post route. You got two routes, really just see which one he's going to use her. Uh, obviously, if he's a good player, maybe he adjusts, but again, uh, it's going to be difficult for him to defend. Again, the post route's wide open. In addition to that, the slant route's open. You can either throw any of them, and again, you can obviously maybe do some other stuff. Uh, if you wanted to beat the man coverage, maybe I'd go with X on like a backside drag or like a backside dig route, something like this. Uh, you can really get simple and adjusty with it. Just get a couple of man beaters like this. Uh, and you still will be in business. But again, mix in things. Uh, really, mesh post is not that good against man coverage. So if your opponent's running stock man every play, uh, go to that double post, get him out of it quickly. But with that being said, let's move into our third, my third and favorite player out of the set. It's going to be the play action dig fork. Now, this play is very interesting. Uh, one thing I will say is you want a good route runner when you're running this play. Uh, someone with low route running can actually ruin it, but against man coverage to start out, what I like to do is simply go ahead, smart route B, block my running back, and then I throw A on a little out route. Now you got a corner route. This corner route's actually very decent. Uh, it's not the best corner route, but it's pretty close to the best corner route that you can get. It's pretty fast breaking. Uh, now we got this route with Robbie Anderson. I don't, I'm not really a big fan of this. You see, it's not a quick breaking route, which is what you want against man coverage. It's sort of a slower roundabout type route. So what we do is I just throw him on a backside dig. And again, now he's on his faster break. What I did is I just threw him on an in route, smart routed it. And yeah, we can snap the ball. Our first read is going to be DJ Moore on his little S route, S post, whatever you want to call it. Very solid against both man and zone. It's not going to be good as a um, quick breaking post route like you see in mesh post and double post, but it is still very solid. It's more of a zone beater, um, but the fact that it can be man, and again, you won't know what your opponent's really running. Uh, it's very solid. Taking a look at our other routes, corner route, you see we got separation again. Uh, I believe that is a pretty fast corner as well. Uh, so you see the separations there in man coverage as well as man. Uh, and obviously with these plays, you've noticed we haven't really had any outside routes. So if I continue to run those plays, my opponent might just go ahead, throw maybe a, just a hard fight on that right side if he's playing zone. Uh, and that's when you can attack him with this little corner route, really go upstairs on his head. Uh, and he really won't be expecting it. We obviously got this little out route with the tight end. You see uh, 70 overall or 75 overall Ian Thomas burning anybody on that little out route. So you see pretty much any tight end could get open on that. Um, but again, we got our routes to really just see which one he's using. Really successful play. Again, DJ Moore, not the best post route. I actually uh, should have lowballed that. But again, you see if that wasn't a 94 speed corner or whatever uh, Terrell is, we would be getting a little bit more separation again. Uh, solid play, but really it's going to be a little bit better against zone coverage. You see the dig route there. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, let's hop into it against cover three, which it actually does beat for a TD. Okay, guys, here we are against zone coverage with the PA dig fork. Now, again, this is going to be a cover three beater. Uh, but in particular, this does really well against cover two as well with that post route being in the middle of the field. Again, I'm not going to show that, but keep that in mind. Uh, and if you guys want, you can obviously go lap these setups, see what works against different coverages if I don't necessarily talk about that. But again, I can just run the exact same setup. The only difference or there really isn't any differences, but to open it up against cover three a little bit better, what I like to do is throw RB on a streak. Uh, again, that might bring uh, attention to the middle of the field, but really it doesn't matter because you still do have an underneath route here and an underneath or a little in route. Now, again, this in route is going to do pretty good at obtaining that cornerback on the left side, uh, preventing him from defending the post on the left side. So you'll see that in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, let's just go ahead, hike the football here. And I'm going to wait a little bit, and then I can go upstairs. You see him burning everybody in his way. And even if that hook curl doesn't, or even with the hook curl actually sort of matching onto the S post there, you see that the separation really was there. So again, very solid uh, route combination. Again, the only reason I have RB on a streak is to move that uh, middle free safety away from the left side. We want him on the right side. If I didn't have that route, then the free safety would actually do a really good job of defending the S post. So be careful about that. That's why I sort of think it's actually necessary, but I'll just run it again here. Look at the separation right there. He's going to be absolutely wide open. 
And even with a low power or a low throw power QB, you see we're able to make that completion very effectively. Uh, again, if I wanted to, maybe I throw uh, McCaffrey on a little curl or hook. Uh, and the reason for that would be to pull that little uh, hook curl zone down that's actually been following DJ Moore. But again, I like the protection on these coverage beaters. Uh, you see, obviously, if he's going to match on, you can check down to McCaffrey. Uh, but yeah, very good play against cover three, and that's pretty much the main setup I run. Uh, as far as the other side of the field, uh, if I wanted to against cover three, I could still run this play the same way I was doing it, uh, but just attack it with the corner out to flat concept. You see the corner out gets pretty good separation on that sideline right there. With that being said, let's hop into our last play, which will be the verticals halfback under versus halfback under. Now, verticals, I think it's better against zone than man. It's really pretty awful against man this year just because that wheel route it used to be good. Um, but against zone, we got a couple of options. I could obviously run the stock, cover three, cover two. We got tons of great routes against cover two. That outside wheel will be open against cover three. The inside wheel will, will be open. Uh, and then uh, in addition to that, we got McCaffrey underneath. We're forcing him to use her. We can still go over the top um, as that route. I didn't actually expect that linebacker to completely follow the crosser, but I guess he did. Uh, usually they won't. I think it might just be the type of defense I called, but again... Uh, usually that crosser does a good job, but obviously if he's playing super over the top, McCaffrey is just going to be open all day. The other setup I like to run with just the stock verticals is usually uh, just throw a running back on a streak. We got two streaks, A and Y. He's going to really have to pick which one to use her. Uh, they're both going to be wide open unless he's going to man up the tight end or the running back every play. That play is going to be complete money uh, unless it's like a cover two or something. Um, as far as the other setup I like, it's just to throw RB on a little drag. We got two drags, again, RB and Y. I like to consider that Y a little drag. Uh, and the route that actually is pretty good against man coverage is, or man and zone, is going to be this route with Robbie Anderson. Now, I'm not going to show this against man because, again, pretty awful, but just against a little bit of a zone press, take a look at Robbie Anderson. He does get some separation right there, and look at him burn completely over the top. Again, if that linebacker wasn't there, if I just put RB on a different route, uh, that would be completely wide open for a touchdown right there. So again, very solid uh, little stock stretch route right there. Again, verticals, I really don't like it too much this year, but it still is solid. You see, we're still able to get that wheel route open. So there's still potential for it to be ran. I run it a, def or a, a solid amount of times a game, maybe three, maybe four. Uh, but again, really the bread and butter is going to be these three plays. You obviously got Flood and some other plays you can mix in. If you want the setup for Flood, go check out my Seattle Seahawks Gun Bunch offensive ebook. I talk about my setup for Flood. It's the same out of this offense as well. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and end the video there. If you guys enjoyed, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button if you're new. And peace. I'm out of here.